how not to tie the wrong knot. There's multiple knots to tie and I'll make this very simple. I tie two basic knots at all times. But it's very important with one knot to do a couple simple things. This is my giant bluegill hook we're gonna use for this. And I've got some 2,000 pound pink line, but it makes it easier for you guys to see. So the first knot we're gonna look at is the Palomar knot. A very simple knot, a knot in which is a 100% strength knot when you tie it. But if you make a mistake, like I've done in the past, it's gonna cost you dearly. And the knot is only about a 50% strength knot. First thing we do, we go inside the hook eye and we double our line just like this. We tie an overhand granny knot, bringing the loop through the eye, or through the knot like that, and you keep this part of the tag loop in your fingers. Bring your hook through, and here's the crucial thing. See how I've kept that loop on top of the knot? As this knot slides down, it's imperative to wet the knot with monofilament and fluorocarbon and slide it down, keeping that loop on top. When you keep that loop, see how it's sliding on top? It just cinched down, and you cinch it down by pulling your tag end and your main line. All you'll have to do is cut, just like that. And you can look at the shape of the knot. When you see on the top of the knot, you can see the loop that slid down your line. If that loop does not stay on the top, it gets on the side of the knot. And when it gets on the side of the knot, when you bear down and set the hook with a flipping stick or a hard, hard hook set, it actually cuts into the line and it cuts and causes friction and you will break your line. Always keep that loop on the top and slide it down as it forms the knot. That's the Palomar knot. That is a 100% knot. My second knot is a double improved clinch. And what that is, is a clinch knot where I'm using a double part of my line. I've doubled my line up. And what that does is after I cut it, there'll be three tag ends. And I'll have an inner wind, inner intertwined piece of line inside the knot that is a free piece of line that acts as a shock absorber in that knot. A regular clinch knot, not a real, not a very secure knot for fluorocarbon, but by doubling it, it becomes an extremely strong knot when tied correctly. Very simple, start it just like you did your Palomar knot. Hold it in like this manner right here and take and wrap four times. One, two, three, four. You take your double part of your line through the loop you created, just like that, then come back through the loop. Just, it's just a clinch knot. And as that knot forms, this is gonna be a little difficult with this cloth, cloth line here, as that knot forms, you're going to have three places that you're going to cut. Now I'm going to cut this as a tag in here. You'll cut the top tag off. Then you have a loop on the side and you'll also cut that piece of line right there. And that becomes your shock absorber. So you have one, two, three tags on this knot. When flipping soft plastic, particularly with fluorocarbon, these little tags act as a plastic keeper and keep the head of your plastic worm, your rage crawl, your space monkey, whatever you're throwing, it keeps the head of that bait up there and it doesn't slide down the hook. So it does a dual purpose function as well as this becomes a very shock resistant knot. One that I can reel down and set the hook hard and I am secure 100% of the time that this knot does not break. Two good knots for flipping, pitching, casting, heavy line situations with fluorocarbon that when tied right, you should have 100% confidence that your knot is the right knot.